we're here in the building that houses the main press center and the International Broadcast Center, where tens of thousands of journalists from around the world have gathered to cover the Tokyo Summer Olympics 2021. These Olympics are unlike any that have occurred before because most of this media are in what we call a bubble because of the COVID-19 pandemic. That means that we're very restricted in where we can go because right now Japan is under a state of emergency. Basically, no foreign visitors are actually allowed into the country, but the journalists covering the Olympics are given special dispensation and we've had to fill out forms requesting special permission from the Japanese government to be here. We're restricted from going out into the city. We can't take public transportation. There are strict COVID countermeasures in place for all of us, which means that for the first three days after we land, we're getting tested. Yeah, yeah. Good. 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 And then after that, we are tested every four days. If anyone tests positive, they're immediately isolated and we all have geo-tracking apps on our phones that we were required to download so that anyone who's been in contact with anyone who's positive can be contacted and then isolated as well. All of this is an effort to keep infections from spreading outside the Olympic community. The COVID countermeasures apply to everyone who's a part of the Olympic community, and that includes the media as well as all the athletes, coaches, and trainers that are with them. Athletes are tested even more than the media are every day. If an athlete tests positive, they also go into isolation, but there's also the question of whether they can compete or whether people who are close to them can continue competing. There's a special group of eight health experts who will review every positive case among an athlete and decide whether that athlete can continue to compete. Some of the COVID countermeasures you can see, for example, I'm wearing a mask and everyone's required to wear a mask when you're inside the main press center and any venue. There are hand sanitizing stations everywhere. And in the main press workroom, there are plexiglass barriers between every station. And in the dining hall, there are also plexiglass barriers between every seat. And the venues and events will look very different at this Olympics as well. There are no spectators that will be allowed in to watch any of the Olympic events. And even the number of media who are going to be present is going to be restricted. Media have to apply and pre-register for access to the venues to cover the events. These Olympics are occurring even as new infections in Tokyo continue to increase. Days before opening ceremonies, more than a thousand new cases have been reported every day. So the head of the Tokyo Organizing Committee has not ruled out the possibility of canceling the games if COVID infections surge. And that's a real possibility because while the countermeasures are great in theory, they're hard to implement when you have thousands of people to deal with. Take, for example, the bus that takes media to the main press center. Social distancing is impossible and while people are wearing masks, there's a lot of close contact. The reality is that there will be infections at the Olympics, and already dozens of cases have been reported. The hope is, however, that those cases don't flare up into outbreaks that spill over into the Japanese community.